This is a short video on how to not only sync up your audio in Final Cut Pro X, but also how to adjust for audio drift. And that's your audio getting out of sync in your application. Let me show you. Okay, so here I've got um, a clip of me and uh, this is the synchronized clip here. Now if you go to the end, now it's already been synchronized by Final Cut Pro X. I found the audio, I found a video, and then I uh, went up here clip and synchronized clips. So this is a synchronized clip. Now at the end, you can uh, see it, it synchronizes it from the end back to the front. That's it for today. Hey. And thanks for joining on Joe Films. Uh, let you go. Have a good rest of the uh, Mother's Day. Okay. So you can see it's in sync there. Now, if we go to the front, Cycling lenses. And, uh, so I bought this lens from Amazon. I bought this adapter. Okay, so you can see it's out of sync. So here's what you do. Okay, you don't use sync. Uh, you don't use the synchronized clips in Final Cut Pro. You don't use uh, Pluralize because they both do the same thing. Uh, from what I've read on the forums. So Audacity is a neat little program and they've done a lot of updating if you haven't used it in a while they've, they've done a lot of updating lately and it's got some more intuitive controls than before and this is the uh, 1.3.15 alpha January 15th uh, version and like I say it's free so basically what you do is um, you import your your audio clip file open um, and you import it so I went and I imported I'm going to cancel because I already did it this is the clip this is the audio that was recorded on the H4 zoom not the H4n just the older one, the H4, and it, it happens with other clip, uh, other audio recorders too. And what it does is it gets off. And uh, so basically, what you got to do is just there's some people that say you got to change it 99.9% .9 the speed, or you got to change it to 100.1. And I didn't find that true in Audacity. Um, they're also saying another, a better way is to go into uh, VML or XML and uh, change some things there. That to me takes a little longer and I just don't want, you know, it, it was a little too complex for me. I just didn't want to spend the time to learn it. So basically go to change speed. And you see, I've already got the settings from last time. Just put in the percent here, 0 0.050. If you're going to do it the 99.9 uh, .9 or the 100.1, like they're saying on, on the internets, um, you would do it that way. You would do 0 0.1 or minus 0 0.1. Well, folks, that don't work. Not, not here, anyway. What I found. So I got to cut that in half and go 05 and hit OK. And you'll see it's just going to change. I'm going to put my cursor right here at the end. You're going to see it's not going to change that much. So basically, what it's doing is it's resampling. And this is a 13 minute clip. It only takes like uh, 16 seconds. And there, you can see it almost is imperceivable at the end. So, 
then I brought it in Final Cut Pro and this is it now I labeled it 05 to be the 05 version and we'll go to the end where it would normally be in sync because uh, um, that's where the, the, the synchronizing takes place okay let's get that off it looks like I'm dead there um, but anyway what I do to line it up is I just enable the stereo on here and I could tell by looking at the peaks where it is and I, I zoom out a lot and look you can tell very similar even though the uh, audacity video I've already changed it I did the bass boost and I then did a uh, normalize and leveler stuff like that but you could tell excuse me you can tell and so what I'll do is I'll put it on the front of a peak where if I see a repetition and this one's not so recognizable but in the beginning or at the end it is and then I'll, I'll just put it right on the rise of the peak and I'll, I'll just move it and with it expanded all the way out it's pretty easy and line it up that way well that's it for today okay let's uh, undo the stereo from the op from the uh, camera well, that's it for today. Thanks for joining on Joe Films. Uh, As you can see, it's it's in sync. Uh, let's go all the way to the beginning of this 13-minute clip. So what I want to talk about today is, is uh, recycling lenses. Uh, so there you have it. Um, that's the that's a quick and easy way, and I can't tell. Any difference in audio? Everybody's in the green mood. To me, it's still just as uh, clear and non-chopped up, just because it was resampled as um, the original, as the non-modified. So again, real quickly, you import it into Audacity. You change the speed right here. And it says it's going to change the tempo and the pitch, but with this little bit, you're not going to notice. It's going to be unnoticeable. And uh, so to shrink it, I had to do the 0.05. If you got to expand it, you're going to have to do the negative 0.05. Hit OK, export it, bring it in, and uh, line it up manually. in your final cut. That's it. Thanks for watching this quick tip.